Good afternoon, YouTube. So with today's video, let's talk about Hermes. Un jardin après le mousson. Now, this was supposed to be with a friend, but unfortunately the volume was not there. It just wasn't working. So I will incorporate my friend Reminder's thoughts into this video. Now, this was actually launched in 2008 and it's classed as a woody aromatic or a woody spicy, I should say. This is one of the lesser talked about fragrances from this line. I think the most popular ones would be Un Jardin sur le Toit and Sur le Nid. Après le mousseau means after the monsoon. The note breakdown for this one here, there are no levels according to Fragrantica. But what you're going to get, you're going to get ginger and ginger flower. You're going to get cardamom, pepper, floral notes, white ginger lily. So there's definitely a lot of ginger to this one here. Uh, citruses, quadics or sea notes, but also citruses. So what do I get from this one here? This is actually a pretty linear fragrance in my opinion. You're definitely going to get a lot of ginger. Are you going to get the ginger flower? I have no idea, but you are going to get that floral component. So ginger, cardamom as well to add that nice warm spicy nuance. Coriander, not so much. Citruses, yes. Florals without question, but also that watery notes. Okay, now it's not sea notes, it's watery notes. This is very warm spicy but it's also very green, floral, and it does have that after the monsoon feel. You're gonna get that aquatic feel, like the watery notes. It's, it's very much like after it rains in a garden. I don't really see this being like a vegetable garden, like a floral garden, yeah, maybe even the woods. Now, like my friend Reminder's thoughts, like what he said is that this smells like after it rains really hard and then it just starts like the sun comes out and you go for a walk in the woods. It smells like that. It actually does, but it also smells like I would say a floral garden as well. I like this fragrance. There is a certain elegance to it, but a little bit more casual. It is a versatile fragrance, so you could dress it to like something like this to like maybe a suit and tie, but it's not overly formal. It, there is a certain elegance to it, but I just can't see this being like, let's say like a wedding fragrance, unless that you're a lady, okay? Not so much for a man. This is a unisex fragrance, but I do find it dives a little bit more towards the ladies because of the floral notes. But if you are like a, a modern day gentleman with like maybe let's say a little bit of old school values, you could rock this. No problem, as long as you're comfortable wearing something that has the floral notes. This is spring, but probably more so summertime. Longevity off this was solid. I got seven to eight hours. Projection was more moderate. Price tag, so how much are you gonna spend for this? Now in Canadian, this ranges anywhere from 90 to $120-ish, give or take, on the online discount. When you convert that, that's 75 to $78 USD all the way to maybe $105 USD. My friend Reminder did state that it does smell of quality, but it's not worth more than $120. Wife's thoughts, didn't ask the wife, but in the end, do I like this one? I do, but I get a bottle? No, this is not one of my favorites from this line, but it's a good solid fragrance that did surprise me. I was not expecting much in all honesty, but I'm glad that I got a travel spray from FragranceNet.com. This is a fragrance for not like your everyday person. This is for someone who likes the artistry. And I would say, I gotta say it, someone who likes the finer things in life. It smells of quality, of elegance, but it leans a little casual as well. It's, it's a laid back fragrance for someone who knows when to be serious, in other words, all right? So guys, that is my review of Hermes Un Jardin Après Le Mousseau. I, I keep forgetting the name almost because I'm just, I'm so used to the other ones. Look into it, all right? It's just, it's not one of the more popular ones. And if you want something that's maybe a little bit different, it does have that Un Jardin feel and it is a good representation. I think it's a fantastic, in all honesty, rep representation of what name represents. So guys, that is my review of this fragrance here. If you want to see other Hermes fragrances, they will all be down in the description box below. If you want to see other unisex fragrances that are more, let's say for the spring and summer, just like this one here, then check out this side here. And thank you for your time, take care, and I will see you later. Thanks for watching everyone.